was just here a couple days ago, but it's actually been three weeks. I'm back through security, heading on our cruise down to uh, Fort Lauderdale, but we're gonna fly into Chicago and then fly into Miami, and then take an Uber all the way from Miami to Fort Lauderdale. And now I can finally say that I'm coming to you from the air capital of the world, which is Kansas. This is the last time we're gonna be flying out. Next time we're gonna be flying out, it's gonna be to move to England. But this is the last time we're flying out for a vacation. I know you keep hearing me say we, well, I finally have somebody with me. <sighs> Yay! So Adam was able to go on this vacation. We've been planning this for a long time. All right, let's get to Chicago. Now I forgot to do my intro. Hey, welcome back. It's great to see you. If this is your first time tuning in and you like the video, give me that thumbs up and subscribe so you can hang out on all these cool adventures. And I'm Erica and I'm coming to you from Crush. Okay, so we got to Chicago. Our flight was supposed to leave at 1020. It looks like it's now leaving at 3 p.m. So we're gonna be here in Chicago and you can see the decorations behind me, they're beautiful. But we're gonna be in Chicago here for a little bit. We're gonna go check out the USO, take a nap, watch some TV and get a snack. Okay, we are chilling out in the USO and this is like a rotunda here in the very center of uh, Chicago O'Hare and it's pretty nice. There's a lot of people in the USO so I'm not going to show that. I just had a little picture of Adam and I and Adam zonked out but um, it's really nice to have facilities like this whenever we're in this kind of situation. First of all we thought we were going to miss our flight because the flight leaving Wichita got delayed and when we landed our phones refreshed and it said that our flight was now delayed to three o'clock in the afternoon. We're like holy, holy cow. The airlines, when we were in Wichita, they were like, hey, we're gonna go ahead and bump you to the four o'clock out of Chicago, just in case you don't make it to the 10 o'clock. And we are like, well, we, we made it, you know, we're here in time, but when we showed up to the gate, like no kidding, that actual flight that we were supposed to be on delayed till three o'clock. So if you remember in the videos for Liberty or for Freedom of the Seas, that I, that cruise that I went on back in August, I flew out and got on the ship on the same day. And that was really freaking out because <laughs> You never know, as long as everything lines up perfectly and smoothly, you know, then it, it works. You're able to fly out of across the country and get on, on a ship um, and embark on the same day. So we're going from Kansas to Miami and then we're Ubering from Miami up to Fort Lauderdale. So we wanted to go in the day before, get there about noon, you know, have a nice lunch and just kind of chill, get our minds right. And then I wanted to get some really cool footage of the ships coming into port in the morning. You know, that was kind of the game plan. This is the reason why we always fly out the day before and try to stay in a hotel the day before. And a lot of people um, that I've met that cruise, they actually stay in a hotel after they get off the cruise ship and fly out the next day also because there can always be delays. Now, I've always been pretty lucky. I have never had a delay whatsoever coming back on a cruise ship. They're they are pretty on point about being in the dock at the, at the time that they say they're gonna be. So this is a little bit different situation you know it's flying and it's the holidays it's covid it's we're flying on on american airlines and if you if you remember probably about a month ago there were a lot of flights that were canceled in that one weekend that friday through sunday like 1500 flights from american airlines and then plus other other airlines as well were canceling flights because they didn't have the um right amount of crew for each of those aircraft and crew have to get the and crew the 
and the crew has to get a certain amount of rest and we want them to be rested and alert for you know our safety so we were delayed this morning for crew rest going out of Wichita and then I don't know why we're delayed today but we showed up and there was no aircraft so I'm only assuming it's just that ripple effect so we are hunkered down we're hanging out here at the uh, Chicago O'Hare airport we're at the USO just chilling eating some snacks and if you are active duty um, military retiree guard reserve you know if you have the opportunity and you're in Chicago and you've got a layover check out the USO you know they do a pretty good job they're, they've got volunteers and they are staff. They have snacks galore, tons of seating like recliners and chairs and uh, TVs and then a section for kiddos and then a quiet section if you've got to do some business, which is really nice. And then always, of course, make sure to donate if you have the means to do so. You know, that's always nice. That money goes back into the USA. Okay, well, hopefully we get out of here at um, three o'clock. Actually, it got bumped to four o'clock. I just saw the note. So it should be good. So we'll see. I'll keep you updated so that you can learn from my lessons and I hope that you do. Always do your research first, you know, make, it, make sure that you've got everything situated before you go on any of these vacations and always try to think about, you know, worst case scenario. It's a little unnerving. We're all ready to be checked in and get on the ship tomorrow, but we'll see. So pushing the edges of our comfort zone right now, um, but we're chill, we're in a safe place. You know, we're fed, we're sheltered, we've got each other and that's what matters. So um, I will show you a little bit around the rotunda where I'm at and um, let's get to Miami and go check out the, the hotel right there at the marina. Okay. that way. Ooh. Delayed another hour, but she's coming in. She just came in from London a couple hours ago. So they had to get her all checked out, make sure that she's safe. Swap out crews. It's coming in. A beautiful aircraft, oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. I wonder if they use blisks. Huh. Look at that turbo fan, oof, high bypass, dual spool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Everyone's clapping. There she goes, yay! No more fighting, hopefully. Beautiful. All right, let's go get on the plane. Yeah. Hi again. Waiting for some maintenance to get done. It's gonna be a great flight. My flight 21 was driven to Miami.
<laughs> oh my gosh, we're here. We're finally here in Miami. It took forever. We almost had to wait 20 minutes for our gate to open up, but we got it. We're here. We're safe. And he got a birthday announcement on the plane. <laughs> Someone's kind of pretty. Yeah, so cool. All right, let's get to the hotel. Okay, so this is a little bit different than LAX. In LAX, you had to get a bus to go to a completely different location. And then here in Miami, you have to go uh, out a little bit to where it says ride app pickup. It's gonna be about, about 100 bucks. So let's go do that. <laughs> <laughs> 